Energy Muse Hello I hope that you're all doing wonderful Today I'm going to show you three beautiful necklaces each made of three semi-precious or precious stones. I'm sure that you've all heard of the healing properties of some stones. I feel that some of us believe in those properties. Some of us, of course, are skeptical about them. However, all of us are interested in finding out more. And so today, I want to invite you into the beautiful world of the sounds that those stones, those necklaces can make, and of course, to find out more about what people used those stones for since ancient times. The first stone that I want to introduce to you is the stone which this necklace is made of, the one that I'm wearing. I will take it off now. The name of this beautiful deep blue stone is lazuli lazuli here we call it lazurit 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 lazuli or lapis Lazuli, its longer name, has been famous since ancient times and pressured since antiquity for its metamorphic properties and ability to awaken the real true self of the ones who wear the stones. It is believed that the deep blue color, which I think is like the color of the ocean, but not the top of the ocean. But you know, when you dive deep into the ocean, and when the rays of sun start becoming gray, and it's getting dark, just between when it's about to get already very dark and black and the aquatic blue sea there lies a color that is this blue just like lazuri it is believed that the dark deep blue of this beautiful stone can awaken the artistic sides of those who wear this beautiful stone in a form of jewelry or just carrying it around with them. By the way, the sapphire blue was considered to 
be a sacred color during Renaissance. And so people would ground lazuli stones into powder. And then paint Virgin Mary's robes with that, as well as other artifacts, precious artifacts that would be used to hang in the cathedrals all over Europe. Hard to imagine now, right? That's why I chose this stone to show you first because it just has such a history that I love. I also love the dark blue color of this. When I was little, my eyes sometimes would turn dark blue like this. But after a certain age, it went away. And it's been a long time. I haven't noticed my eyes turn dark blue. I don't know if it will ever return. Sometimes I even want to buy contact lenses, dark blue, just to rem remind myself of my childhood when sometimes I would look in the mirror and see my eyes dark blue. It's such a pity it's gone, really. So, this is our Lazuli. Do you have any items made of lazuli? Lazuli? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. It's a beautiful necklace. Truly beautiful. And it makes magical sounds. necklace that I want to show you is this beautiful necklace made of pink quartz pink quartz others call it also rose quartz it is beautiful There are a few variations of quartz and I believe that pink is my favorite. Its soothing color is able to release negativity and anger from you relax your mind and your body as well. This is considered to be the stone 
that is filled with rays of good healing energy of love. Usually people make beautiful jewelry with pink quartz, rose quartz, and in some cultures, people even make bridal jewelry out of this. It's so beautiful. This particular stone is very popular in Armenia. And this is an Armenian stone. Like, yes, not important. The blue one here you can, can be found here as well. The one that I showed before this can put it on and this necklace. I just adore this one. I love it so much. And yes, I do agree that the soothing color of rose quartz is healing. I would even say it's detoxifying for our mind, our body, because just looking at it kind of heals and relaxes. I definitely am someone who loves jewelry and beautiful things because I love art. I'm an arty person myself, and so, of course, I love this pink, pink, pink quartz. This last, this last piece of jewelry, this last necklace, is a new addition to my collection, as well as the first one. I haven't even taken out the tag yet, so we can do it now. There you go. This is made of malachite powder. Malachite on its own is very expensive. And this is made of malachite powder, okay? So, it is a bit less expensive than malachite if it was made of actual stones and not the powder of those stones it would cost an absolute fortune <laughs> so it's fair to say that malachite is the most expensive stone in the list today of the stones today. But this necklace is very beautiful and looks just like malachite because it's made of malachite powder. So obviously it looks like it. I have to say that Malachite is famous for its healing properties. It acts as an antidepressant because of its deep, beautiful green color. The green here is blooming green. It's the green of the forests, of jungles. 
nature at its healthiest, you know? Virgin nature green. And that's why it acts as an antidepressant. It is also believed to help people move forward and turn a new leaf in life, a new page in life. I will have great time wearing it and it will help me be relaxed and not stress out because of just everyday things. What do you think about the healing properties of stones? Which stone is your favorite? Only don't write diamond. I love diamonds too. <laughs> but from semi-precious and precious stones other than diamonds. Which is your favorite? Which one do you like the most? There are other necklaces in my collection of different colors and different stones. And maybe at some point I will also show them to you and tell you a little bit about their healing properties. And meanwhile, I just want to wish you peace on the inside, peace where you are. I want to wish you a lot of happiness and calmness. This was it for today. I hope that we will meet very, very soon. I love you all so much. Bye bye. You can check out my other ASMR videos for more tingles. Also, my social media. I post a lot on Instagram. See you in my next video.